Okay, great. Can everyone see the screen and hear me okay? It's wonderful, Bryce. <laughs> Is anyone still awake? Because <laughs> I, I, I know I'm, uh, I'm on an energy drink right now. So, uh, but uh, if you know me, that's probably not a, not a, <laughs> that's, it's not unusual, right? So that's the norm. Hey, uh, all right, we're gonna do closing ceremonies um, and then wrap up this year's uh, official besides event. So, right, just reiterate, reiterate the plan. Um, if it's safe, we'll schedule a hangout for later in the year um, where we'll distribute all the badges and swag and maybe we'll have another CTF and maybe, you know, some unrecorded lightning sessions or something like that. But uh, it'll be a lot more casual um, than, you know, the formal CFP process we did now. If, if we can't do that, then we will, uh, you know, we'll, everyone who bought tickets for 2020 will let you to come to the 2021 event for free. Um, so hold on to your QR codes and all that stuff, because uh, you know either way it's going to be useful in the future. And we'll just send out messaging via Twitter, Slack, and email. Um, so hopefully that gets the message out to everybody. And then, um, you know, if you've attended any of the closing ceremonies before, uh, you know, I, I I really believe that B sides is by the community and it's for the community. Um, that's kind of you know my overarching vision for this. Um, and I kind of break things down into three goals, right? We want to help more people break into the cybersecurity community. So our scholarship program and the outreach that we do with the colleges, that's, that's really designed to, you know, make sure high school and college uh, more involvement there. And then two, people are already in the industry are kind of like developing their skills. We want to help them continue to develop their schools skills and provide a platform and opportunity for them to present. So that's why we try and do the open CFP and that's why we do the CTF and things like that. So, you know, hopefully uh, we can help uh, people grow. Right. And then lastly, we want to help those people who are in the industry continue to be here. You know, uh, I know, I mean, you know, after a while, this kind of seemed like, you know, memento, like the same old thing over and over, but you know, really, I think a lot of us who are here and stay here are here because we have friends in the industry. Uh, we've built those connections and we can kind of help each other out um, regardless of where we're at in our careers. And uh, besides, even just the Slack channel is, is a good way to, to reach out and stay in touch with people. So I really want to thank all the speakers. Um, I, you know, if you've ever presented a conference, you know, it takes a lot of time and effort not only to develop the content, but then also to be able to eloquently present it. Um, it's a lot harder than you would expect, but, uh, but you know, it's, it's a time thing. If you're willing to put in the time and effort, um, you can get there. So I um, so really want to thank them for all the time and effort they put into these presentations. And then I, I want to thank the media team. I mean, really in about a week, we threw this together in a virtual event. And that wouldn't have really happened without Pope and, uh, and um, you know, I know John was helping out as well. So I really appreciate your guys' help. Um, I, I can't do this without you guys. So really appreciate it. And then huge shout out to the sponsors. Um, you know, DG Sir, RSA, Adobe, um, they, they, they sponsor considerable amounts of money, right? So events aren't possible without them, uh, without the sponsors. Mimecast, Corelight, Red Canary, Salt Stack, um, they, they also contributed and so really appreciate it. And um, SyncCon, No Starch, Redpoint and Pope Tech have really helped out as well. So, so please, please check out all the sponsors, um, check out their products, um, you know, and uh, you know, we're definitely have boosts for all these sponsors at, the next event. In addition, the you know the conference is really put on by a team. It's not just a team of Bryce. Um, so the you know this year Brendan took over the sponsorships and he did he did an awesome job. So really big thing to him because that that was a huge um, help to me. And then Matt put a ton of hours into the CFP and organizing all of the speakers. So really appreciate that. Thank you, Matt. 
Um, Marv really helped out with the venue and the call for volunteers and the villages. I know that that stuff didn't really work out because of the virtual event, but um, we're really looking forward to, you know, getting more hands-on things at these sites in the future. Because I feel like when people are hands-on, they, they'll learn more, right? Learn by doing, right? Um, Josh Pugmire really helped out on the PR side. I, I really appreciate that. I'm, if you know me, you know I'm not the best people person. Um, I try, but it doesn't always work out. So I appreciate Josh stepping up. And then Delaine, I really appreciate her on the website and swag. Um, she pretty much is on autopilot and takes care of all that. And Shelby did a great job with student scholarships and Lori with the Women in Tech program is awesome. Uh, really wanna encourage and keep that going. And then uh, Tyler Steiner helped out with the logistics and appreciate all he does because uh, you know that helps keep stuff flowing, especially yeah, on the back end. So. All right, and you may or may not know, but we were able to organize uh, B-Sides into a nonprofit. So we are a uh, run by a 501c3 uh, and uh, Kirsten and Ryan, I uh, really appreciate all they do. Um, they are um, on the boards um, and uh, Ryan's a treasurer. And, uh, you know, really, um, you know, we, we wouldn't be able to put on as good of an event if we didn't have the nonprofit behind it. So, and also it just kind of goes with our whole ethos. I mean, we're trying to give back to the community and um, yeah, so, you know, all the resources go into the nonprofit and then are just used for future B-Sides events. Oh, really appreciate Laura and Secure Code Warrior. Um, you know, she, she did an awesome job. Um, I know the people who participate in the CTF, seems like everyone liked it seem positive. Um, we have some gifts for the winners. So we have some Nintendo Switch for the first place winners in each category. We got some AirPods for the second place winner in each category. And then we got a Amazon gift card for third place. So without third, further ado, I believe these are the winners. So um, in the professionals category, we got Seth as number one, uh, Josh is number two, and Daniel is number three. So I'm gonna to attempt to find you guys in the Eventbrite system, send you an email or hit you up on Slack so I can get your address so we can mail you a prize. And then in the college category, we got Seth in first place. And if you actually look, you can see uh, Seth slightly outperformed other Seth uh, by a very slim margin. So he came in first place. So great job, Seth. And then in second place, we got Blake and in third place, spam. So appreciate you guys. Uh, hopefully I can find you guys in the Eventbrite system. If not, feel free to hit me up on B-Side Slack. Um, I'm Bryce Coons in there, so. And now lastly, we only had one person who isn't in college uh, participate in the CTF as far as we know. Uh, but you know, Logan actually did really well. I mean, you can see he got 13th place overall. Um, so that's, that's great. So. Uh, so we got a Nintendo Switch for you, Logan, and we'll be setting that out. So, so thanks everybody for coming out this year. I really appreciate your support. I know this wasn't, you know, the plan A for the event, and um, you know, hopefully things get back to normal after uh, the pandemic's over sooner than later, and we can get back on schedule. But re really appreciate everyone's support, and um, you know, looking forward to to seeing everybody at future B sides events. Thanks everybody.